My top priority is going to be working on the affordable housing issue. The, that issue is broad and complex and I want to use the experience I've had as in nonprofit work, on planning commission, on other activities to try to bring people together, all sorts of partners, city, county, nonprofits, people, bring them together and try to make progress on this difficult issue. I believe as currently written and drafted, assuming that is how it eventually is passed, that it will hurt affordable housing in the in the city of Lawrence. We know now um, in the last two years there's been more houses built in the county than built within the city limits. And um, so I, I not only think it'll have an impact on affordable housing, but I'm not sure that's the kind of planning we want to have um, for the city or for the county. And that we need to work with the county to make sure we're having houses built where we want houses built and um, to have the affordable, having those houses be affordable. I think the city is a very important partner in that process. It's the city, it's the county, it's the chamber, and it's the business community, and it's the citizens. It's a, it's a partnership um, that all need to be working together. Um, of course, there's many other partners involved, the BTPC, um, you know, um, land, I mean, all sorts of people involved in that partnership. But the city is one of the prime partners, and they need to be a dedicated partner in that because without them, we cannot grow the primary jobs we need. I do not support the current proposed cut in economic development funding. I think, if anything, we need to increase the, the amount spent. And then there's been some talk recently about um, the small business growth. Um, and I think that's something we need to look at funding in addition to the Chamber and the BTPC and other factors. I think it's where to look. I mean, $20,000 is a rounding error with inside the budget. Um, if it's a priority for the city, you can find $20,000. You know, I've lived in the city for 20 plus years. I've been involved on multiple boards, 18 years on the ballot board, nine years on Family Promise, Red Cross, alcohol tax, six years on the Planning Commission, Chamber of Commerce, many, many organizations. And I think over that time I've worked with lots of different people, um, heard lots of different um, concerns and beliefs, and worked, worked with people that helped me, I think, helped me understand how this city works. And I hope I can bring that all together and on the City Commission and bring those voices together and listen to everyone and make the best decisions possible. I served six years on the Planning Commission, and just like at the City Commission level, I mean, typically speaking, um, the people who come out to speak on planning issues are the neighbors. They're most directly affected by it. And so I spent a lot of time listening to neighbors, of course, who have every right and every reason to be concerned about projects going on in their neighborhood. But at the same time, while doing that, you have to think about the broader context. How does it affect affordable housing? How does it affect growth in the county? How does it affect growth in another part of the city? What are the, those impacts? And so I think I have the experience of, of listening to the broader picture at the same time as listening to the neighbors and trying to find that right balance. Mm -hmm.